today we are going to be cruising into the bay. We're gonna try to stern tie for the first time. That was a bit of a fail. <laughs> We are cruising further north on the small boat channel, so it is primarily protected. In a territory with a lot of rocks is very new to us and a little bit nerve wracking. And we can't wait for the crystal clear water. <laughs> Georgian Bay! <laughs> Hi, we're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we left the United States and backpacked through 11 countries, all before deciding to come back home and try something completely new, pivoting into boat life. Our current adventure is America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile journey through small towns, big cities, and the wilderness from the eastern portion of the United States, through the Great Lakes and Canada, and down the Midwest rivers, all aboard our home on the water, Pivot. Make sure you subscribe as we share our journey through the highs, lows, and everything in between. Good morning. Good morning from the Georgian Bay National Park. We are docked here on Ojibwe, which is one of the park docks, and we did some amazing hiking yesterday. Oh, yeah. So much fun. And We are cruising further north on the small boat channel, so it is primarily protected, um, giving me a little bit of reassurance and ease. And we can't wait for the crystal clear water of the Georgian Bay. In this dock, every usable inch is filled and uh, it'll be a little bit of a tight departure. <laughs> Agnes is like hanging over the rocks almost. Ready? Bozelay Island was really a fantastic stop and I highly, highly recommend it. If you don't want to go to the park stocks, you can also anchor out, um, but you do still have to pay the fees uh, if you do go to shore. Um, so keep that in mind. No facilities or anything like that. And it was a little hot last night, but a fantastic place to stay. Just absolutely gorgeous. Leaving Beausoleil Island, there's three options of different routes that we can do. We can go out to the bay, which is something that we're not really interested in doing. We prefer the protection of the channels. Two, we can do Little Dog Channel. Three, we can do Big Dog Channel. And Little Dog Channel is really narrow and it's meant for much smaller boats than Pivot. So we would be comfortable probably taking our dinghy on Little Dog Channel but not um, the big boat. So we are going to be trying Big Dog Channel, which requires me to stand at the bow just to watch out for walks, just to be mindful, cautious, we're going super slow. This is something that we've never done before. Cruising in a territory with a lot of rocks is very new to us and a little bit nerve wracking just because every time that you do something new, it's a little scary at first and then you get more used to it and you become more acclimated to what you have to do and what you have to watch out for so this is just part of that new new that we are diving into
that's good because if you see something new, then you know it'll be closing. Yeah, I see rocks for the red over there. Outside the booth. Now let's go to the Small Boat Channel. Right in this area, just off to the east side of Beausoleil is Honey Harbor. And a lot of people come through Honey Harbor um, either before or after. And they have these brand new free docks here. They're only two hours, but just enough time for you to come into Honey Harbor, get coffee. It's a cute little town from what we've heard. If we had more time or a like really fast dinghy, we would have explored around. Um, but you know, what we like to say is uh, you can't do everything, so that way you have something to come back to. So, uh, you know, next time we're in the area, we'll just have to come back. So just to my right over here, there is Frying Pan Bay, which is another anchorage and access point with docks to Beausoleil Island, which is where we were docked, just at a little bit more of a southern Beausoleil. But there's so many different spots around Beausoleil Island that either have docks or um, there's beaches and little bays, so that way people can go to shore, anchor, um, dock, and it's really great. It's all part of the national park system. And actually we walked to Frying Pan Bay yesterday just to check it out to see if we like really wanted to go there today. But it didn't have that crystal clear water that we're looking for. So we're gonna continue on north. Our go-to breakfast recently has been yogurt with granola and fresh fruit. And today our fresh fruit is some blueberries, strawberries, and some peaches from our subscriber, Michael. And it is such a good, refreshing breakfast, but also quick. So that way we can spend as much time up here enjoying the sights. I'm like staring at the depth finder, not only because I want to, so I don't hit any rocks, but it's so interesting because throughout like our tire travel so far with a muddy bottom and a weedy bottom, you know, it's very kind of hazy. It's not very clear, like our depth finder uh, gauge. It could be different for other gauges. But here, whenever we're going through like 50 feet-ish of water, you can just see the rocks and the outline of the rocks in the bottom, you know, it's just, it's so neat. I 
have a visitor. Amy and Marie, the uh, tug, and uh, some awesome people, Beth and Mike, are, uh, they just turned around right in front of us, so we were saying hi. You saw them on a previous vlog going through some of the locks in the Trent Severn waterway. We were tied up with them. We are now coming through O'Donnell Channel and we were warned about this one from a local because it's really exposed. I mean, you go from all the protection that we've been in and then all of a sudden you're just exposed. And the challenge is, is right now we're heading pretty much northwest. And uh, when we turn the corner, we are gonna be turning with west on the beam, which is the prevailing winds here. So we just have to be even more cautious around this area. And good thing it's a very beautiful day. This right here is O'Donnell's Point, and uh, we were just hailed by the vessel coming southbound, just asking for us to hold back, um, just so that way they could come through, since it's pretty narrow. And uh, we are not on a rush. We don't mind holding back, you know, take our time. And we just basically put it into neutral, kind of started coasting, keeping an eye on, you know, the channel to make sure we're always in the channel. And they are whipping around, yeah. Looks pretty tight. I can see why you wouldn't really want to go through a Donald Point with any amount of wind because it's very, very narrow here um, and very exposed too. So I think they, after we come through here, we go to starboard. So we go back to the protection, but for here, I mean, you got to be really close to the markers. Wow. Look at that. Got a way of keeping me up most nights. It's always worth the sleep I sat. And love is too precious to trade for rested eyes And you look beautiful in the morning light yeah. hey. well, I don't know how you feel the air in your lungs Talk your way around the beach We are just now passing San Suchi Island which houses uh, a lot of things for, like that's helpful for us, like uh, some marinas, uh, grocery store, LCBO, stuff like that. But they also have Henry's, which is a famous restaurant. They serve a pretty good fish and chips from what we've heard, um, and it is packed. There's quite a few loopers that uh, decided to leave really early from Midland today just to get there and get a spot. A lot of people either go there or they anchor off and dinghy over, just um, a few different options but they are packed right now, and I just really want to drop the hook and get in this water, so we're gonna keep going. But, you know, a good spot to, to come by if you're in the area. Just past San Suchi is our final destination. Today we're heading to Echo Bay, and this is our first time in the Georgian Bay outside of the channel. So we are going very cautiously. Um, the charts look fantastic, like there's plenty of room. And, but you know, this is what you gotta do whenever you come to an anchorage, you're going off the channel. It's kinda like, ooh, see how it goes. But you know, slow and steady is the name of the game. Trawler speed, slower than slow. How beautiful that was.
rocks. to the rocks. Yeah. yeah. Okay. See, See ya. ya. Alright, now we're going to try to stir and tie for the first time. You can un unhook that. The plan is we're going to drop the hook because we don't really have our like line ready that we bought for this. And uh, what Laura was just telling us from wildlife, you guys saw in a previous vlog, uh, you're not allowed to tie off to the trees, but the rocks are fair game. So we're going to go over to this side of the bay and just tie off and see how it goes. So what I think we'll do... Yeah. Is, so we put out kind of minimal scope, like three to one. It's about 30, 40 feet here. We put out just over a hundred. So the plan is we're gonna drop the dinghy. I'm gonna get in and I'm gonna, then we're gonna back off the, on pivot. So that we have a pull against the anchor a little bit. And then, uh, cause right now we're kind of going right back up to where the anchor was. Uh, and then we'll tie it around. I think we're gonna turn off the engine while we do this. Cause it seems like this won't be very fast. Part of the learning this is what to do and uh, how to do it, you know? I'm sure we will be quite more versed in this as we leave this region. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness. That was a bit of a fail. <laughs> Let out the That was hilarious. I don't have to do it. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. It feels so weird being uh, back in the dinghy. Like back in Fred, we just haven't done this for so long. Uh, it feels, but it feels weird in a good way. Slide off, eh? I guess that's fine. <laughs> Let's just see if it holds, eh? I feel like it's just lying a bit more taut because it's just floating with the wind. Our first attempt of getting the rope around the rock did not really work uh, because the rope just kind of fell off. So we think the, ro the rope might need to just go a little bit higher. Maybe. We have no idea what we're doing, so we're figuring it out. So it looks like uh, the line got caught in the dinghy motor. I'm hoping third time is the charm. I wrapped a loop around the rock this time to hopefully get it to stay. And Jennifer will be reeling us in while I position the stern closer. We have the anchor pulling on us here. And we have this taut here. I think that's good. Man, doing something new is always challenging. So our thought process was is that like, this is an anchorage, it's wide open. We don't need to stern tie, there's plenty of room. There's no boats here. But when we get to the anchorage and we need to stern tie, we should have some practice. And that's what this is. Today, we made the Johnson clam dip. Today, we're having this as a little special treat. I have some Ruffles chips. Hey, Johnson clam dip, mm -hmm. none left. I was devoured in about 
Ten minutes. <laughs> you and Ollie got some. You are a Johnson and a Schoenfeld. High five. Come on, give me the high five. Good girl. You want to go for a swim? You ready? I guess so. Let's do it. I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> for you. I'm so nervous. Let's do it. We have oh. to do it at the same time. There's no piddling around. <laughs> We're doing I'm it. Putzian, yeah. I'm putzying. I'm putzying. I know you are. I'm full on putzying. Okay, after eight minutes and 35 seconds of delaying, I came to the conclusion that life is meant to be lived, and this is how we're living life. So, time to jump in. One, two, three! <laughs> Okay, now I'll get my floaty. <laughs> Whew. Whew. Now we have these floaties that we used in the Thousand Islands. Now we're in the 30,000 Islands and back on the floaty. <laughs> How was it? That hurt. Oh. <laughs> but uh, Elliot just blew up our paddle board, so we're gonna do a little paddle. We got Ollie joining us. Woohoo! Woohoo! The Georgian Bay is amazing. I've just been jumping off the boat nonstop. The rope swing here, a nice addition. And we're gonna go say hi to our looper friends over there. Just fantastic. How wonderful is this place? It's just beautiful, fun. I mean, it's 85, the water's like mid 70s near the surface. It's, it really doesn't get much better than this. What do you think of the Georgian Bay so far? I love it. Yeah, I love it. It's awesome. It's kind of magical. We were talking to Mark and Laura about, you know, you kind of work really, really, really hard to get here. And there's, in, in, in every um, boater's journey, there's so many highs and lows to get to this point where we are now that you really become deeply appreciative of all the things it has to offer. Clear water, fresh water, <laughs> nothing in the water is going to kill you. It's quiet, it's absolutely stunning. I mean, there's just so much beauty here. It's, it's lovely, so. And you're right next to the rocks, which is just like, we're right next to a cliff face, like literally. Yeah. Crazy. It's crazy. So I did over here, and I did on the side of the boat, but you can kind of see just like immediately where I put the the lemon juice right in here and over there. It just makes it disappear like that. Pretty cool. Thank you very much for the recommendation for lemon juice. It's been working like a charm. Someone just told us today that we need to put wax on it to make the discoloration not come as frequent so like to kind of like prolong it so we don't have any wax on board that'll be something that we get probably when we are in chicago or at the fall rendezvous maybe um just because of shipping is just we're it's hard for us so yeah but overall looks great i'm pretty pleased Good, eh? Pretty much done. Tonight we grilled one of our favorite summertime recipes, which is just grilled sausages with some sauteed peppers and onions, some toasted buns. That's where it's at. And we're using the Beyond sausages, which are just delicious. Tonight I'm drinking Woodhouse Brewing Co. A cherry colch, which it, we learned colches are similar to sours, which I really, really like and I love cherries. Cherries are my favorite summertime fruit, particularly sweet cherries. When we went into the LCBO, they had a whole section of like single beers, which was such a fun way for us to like be able to sample a lot of Canada brews. I'm drinking the Upside IPA. It is from the Wellington Brewery in Ontario. Oh, it's from Guelph. Really? Yeah. No way. <laughs> and it is so good. 
That was an absolutely fantastic day on the water, experiencing the Georgian Bay, getting to go swimming. It was amazing. It's just been such a pleasure to cruise this area because this is the time to be here. I mean, we are here, it's the first weekend of August and it's probably one of the most popular weekends of the season up here. You can see why. Sunny, warm, water's perfect. It's been great. And I also, I understand why so many people love, and I and I really do mean deeply love this area. It's just a cruising grounds. It is very special. Tomorrow we are probably going to continue cruising. Uh, I say probably because, as you guys know, our entire schedule and world is ruled by the weather. And there are some, there is some bad weather coming in two days. So we'll see what we do. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> That's not what I said. I don't know what you said. Do you know what you said? No. <laughs> Whoops. To Beausoleil. So, I think we're gonna have Let's just go get lunch.